we are proud to announce that the Aurea iPad remote is available now. In this video, we will show you how to connect the Aurea iPad remote to the Aurea desktop app to work together with your Aurea hardware. Firstly, to coincide with the release of the iPad app, there is an updated version of the Aurea desktop software app. Download this from the link in the description or find this on the Audient website on the Aurea product page. Once this is installed, open the Aurea app and it will prompt you to update the firmware. This is important as this enables iPad communication. Follow the instructions on screen, selecting to download the firmware file from audience.com. This will update the firmware on the Aurea unit within a few minutes. Before you can successfully connect the iPad app, you will need to restart your computer to ensure the updated app can connect to the iPad over the network. You will only need to do this after the initial installation. Next, download the Aurea iPad remote from the App Store. There is a link in the description and on the Aurea downloads page on the Audience website, but it is also possible to search on the App Store for Audience Aurea iPad remote. This is still a free download, but may still require your Apple ID for installation permissions. Once the iPad app has been downloaded and installed, make sure your computer and iPad are connected to the same network, either by Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection, and launch the iPad app. You will be presented with a first use guide, which will give you a brief tour of the app and its core functionality. You can either click next to cycle through the demonstration or skip entirely using the options presented on the screen. Once you have exited the first use guide, you will be presented with the home screen. And we need to connect the Aurea iPad remote to the Aurea unit itself using the connectivity page found at the bottom left of the sidebar menu. In this page, you will be able to see your computer's Aurea connection. To connect, click on the desired Aurea in the list. Upon selecting your desktop connection from the connectivity menu, a dialog box will appear on the Aurea desktop app, asking you to accept the incoming connection. This confirmation step is designed to prevent unauthorized access to your Aurea hardware, and here we can see an option to block a device. In this case, press accept. Once this is confirmed, you can go to the desktop app system menu and to the remote section. Here you can see the approved devices and also blocked devices, useful for separating Aurea connections on the same network. On the iPad remote app, a dialog box will appear prompting you to save the connection so that future sessions with the iPad remote app will connect automatically. Go back to the app's homepage to see controls for volume, profiles, metering, speaker control and much more that we will cover in another video. And that's it you can now control Aurea from your iPad. If you need any further help, please contact our support team.